What's up, folks? How's it going? Oh, today is a new day. Starting of a new... Oh, it's windy. Sorry about that. Start of a new venture, I would say. I'm, uh... I know a lot of people think, oh, you're, you're jumping ship. No, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. Um, today, we are going to try to do a little bit of, well, a lot of people would call it, um, uh, in the catfish world, as uh, uh, ditch pickle. Um, but I'm going to try something different, you know, since everything's flooded, uh, catfishing, yeah, it'll work good, but uh, we're going to try some bass fishing today, some actual bass fishing. This is the lure. This lure is actually used for bass fishing, not catfishing. So just so we don't get that, you know, no, no mistaken identity here. So we're gonna do some catfishing. I went and bought me a cheap reel and rod at uh, Walmart. I think the whole setup is like 45 bucks. Uh, we've got a Quantum. I don't know. It's a Quantum reel with uh, five bearings. I don't know. It's a reel. Work. So I've already adjusted all the drag to it to where the lure just starts dropping. I'm not sure what the lure is. I've had that thing for probably 10 years, maybe longer. I don't know, I even know. I think I got it out of one of them dollar bins. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going with. And a Shakespeare excursion rod. I don't know, we'll see how it works. So we're gonna check out, do some casting around all these rocks, around the banks. See if we can't get something to go. So I mean, uh, Here's a, uh, you know, here's the first, here's the first cat. Ooh, we almost had a little bit of danger. I almost uh, did my own little backlash there. Holy moly, look at that snake right there. Look at that, um, whew, look at that sucker right there. Oh, my buddy got me. Freaking right <laughs> Oh, great. First backlash. All right. This needs to be a little bit more lighter with the cast. Well, I still did it there. I didn't work out good. <laughs> Look at that. My first bath. Huh. On the old purple. Wow, he's just smoked that rod. Okay, so thinking I should have brought some pliers. <laughs> All right, so, uh, okay, got the first one done. He engulfed that thing, holy moly. Awesome. It's our first bass. Look at that green sucker. Man, he hit like a ton of bricks, too. Well, sorry I didn't get the hit on, but he was right close to shore. So, so I have figured out that I need to bring pliers next time. So, oh, mossy like crazy. Holy moly. Yeah, that's like should come see me. Man, I didn't realize the quality was so beautiful. Huh. Old trees. I bet you come down here and find mushrooms and ticks <laughs> like crazy. There's a reason why I stay on the gravel because I don't like ticks. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful scenery. Huh. Rolling hills. We just had a massive storm blew through this morning dumped about two or three inches of rain so all in all the first outing pulled bass to me was a success um <laughs> i only uh had a backlash a couple few times and i figured out that uh when you adjust this dial just adjust it just a little bit tighter 
and uh, she casts pretty smoothly and doesn't have any backlash or nothing. So, um, uh, and I caught one bass. So I mean, that's to me, that's a success. You know, I wanted to come out here for like an hour, catch a bass, and guess what? I did it. Of course, you know the conditions aren't uh, favorable by any means. You know, just uh, rained like three inches overnight. So I mean, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So we'll we'll take as that. I'm not sure about colors or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'm using the wrong colors, but still caught one. Um, uh, had a good time. Wanted to come out for like I said an hour and. Uh, yeah, we caught one bass it was about probably half a pound maybe if that so uh had a good time seen a couple snakes while i was out here it's always a great time you know when they show up so uh other than that target species for the day was bass and we caught one so uh guess we'll talk to y'all later